Not gonna mess with a couple of you. I'm not really soy bomb. This is not really the soy bomb time or place. I lied. <laughs> I'm such a jerk. <laughs> but that's what I do. I'm a jerky man. And speaking of jerkies, that's not what I'm eating. This is the splatter action. This was also released in Europe as the Splatter Master. This is one of those bargain games. Yes, it was. It was originally a simple series game. But it's very interesting. It's like a cute version of Splatterhouse. And see, it's got this nice, cute, chibi look to it. Bang! Bang! Smack. Very adorable game, I must say. Very nice looking for uh, PS2. I really like this game, it's got a really nice soundtrack, graphics are cute, gameplay's pretty good, you've got some good motion on the main character, he's adorable. It just looks good, it sort of has that Dreamcasty look to it. Die, frog! Yeah. Kill the amphibians. All right, it says gas. I believe I have access to a chainsaw, but I don't know how to equip it. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> kill, kill, kill. Like how the music fades out to a heartbeat when you're using the chainsaws. It's a nice touch. Oh gosh. These guys didn't give me any trouble the other day when I played the first two levels of this to test it. Not bad. It's a little bit. The stream is not liking you today. I haven't dropped any frames. It must definitely be you. Chicken fish. Evil chicken fish. Chicken fish have been. I did um, get disconnected earlier. I was talking about a certain internet celebrity and how they're a horrible person. And my internet dropped out. Almost like I was being censored. Here's a big crow bird enemy. Who's actually really not that much to worry about. If you just keep wailing on him, you really can't do anything about you. Like, he's just... Stop! Let me attack! Oh, just leave me alone! And then he's dead. Like, as far as bosses go, he's a, he's a laugh. He's a, he's a drain. Right, these garbage pails. Get rid of the other enemies first. These garbage pails are terrifying. Watch this. Look at that. Yeah, I think it's six stages this game. Look at that. Terrifying thing. We're going to see my uh, waifu in this game soon. First, she's going to try and run me over, though. But you don't want to fall down there. Cla classic, um, classic TMNT. You lose health and you fall down there. Reminds me of the boonie pulled from the hat in the Twilight Zone movie. I've not seen the Twilight Zone movie. I'm hoping it will come on um, the horror channel or something. Either that or I'll just buy the movie. Okay, there she is. Very beautiful. 750, don't have that. 400, what does that do? That's a double jump. I can carry more fuel. Yeah, that's more like it. There was nothing here. Seriously? Box there. Oh, I got my health back. Gargoyles. Okay. Now I'm officially further than I've ever gotten before because I don't remember these guys. Ah! 
<laughs> that was lucky. How jerky. Candy Burger. Oh my god. That's alright, I don't have to fight the head by the looks of things. Oh right, okay, hit the burgers back. Oh my god! This is terrifying. The voice chips failed in it now. Fire a burger! Okay, cool. <laughs> Scrap Factory. I got this. Crash. Whatever that means. I did it. Okay, I can't get rid of these once I'm carrying them. Squish me! Aha! Go on, squish me! Got it. This game's brilliant. It's a B-movie through and through. It was playing music because it was uh, silent because I had chainsaws out. And when, you, when you've got your chainsaws equipped, the music disappears. It goes to a heartbeat. The soundtrack to this game is one of the best bits.
Yeah, they had a lot of fun. It's it's clear. But when you're a company that's publishing like countless bargain games, you know. I think you have to let your devs have fun and and just make what they like with their small budget. Oh my god. to outlast, I guess. Scarface from Smash TV. You'd have to remind me. One of the bosses, I'm guessing. The only one I can remember is Mutoid Man, because he's so memorable. It's a little bit of vibration when you jump on it. Just adds a little bit of believability to this. Second boss. I'm not sure if I ever played that far in Smash TV. Because I played it as a kid and I had little to no gaming ability then. Okay. Activate my chainsaw. Okay, apparently I can't wield the chainsaw anymore, but I can spin it. Weird. Oh, could be, yeah. I think I started the stage with Max, though. Hmm. Maybe I started the stage with Max, pressed the wrong button, and then... Because I had used some, I couldn't activate it. Maybe. Oh gosh. Thank you. 
Whew, that was lucky. Train Canyon. Mau Mau Milk. Now we've got big versions of the fish made from before. You know, Dai Makaimura was incredibly popular in Japan, so it's it's very likely that it's influenced by Ghosts and Goblins, because Dai Makaimura was incredibly well received over there. Oh, I've got a block button. Cool, I didn't even realize I had one of those. Uh, I didn't receive it well. I really don't like ghosts and goblins and ghouls and ghosts all that much, to be honest with you. It's bloody hard, for hard's sake. Like, it's not a game I could foresee myself getting good at, with practice. What is this? Uh, the name should be in the title of the stream. This is Splatter Master, or The Splatter Action, for PlayStation 2. What, Dai Makanura? Yeah. You have to beat it twice. Oh my god! Were those sound effects really necessary? It doesn't stop when you pause. This might be the bit that kills me. I'm gonna save a state here. I can't believe someone thought that game design was good there. That's embarrassing. Let's have an enemy you can't hit properly. I know this game has multiple endings, of which I'm not going to get any, because I miss the secret gems throughout each of the stages that you have to pick up.
who made this area and thought great design? It's unfair. Use my chainsaws to kill him quick. Oh, and now I can activate. Okay. Good call, though. It was getting on my nerves, too. Oh my god, broken glass hurts me. Are you kidding? What did I say before IFC? Oh, you might not have been here on the previous stream. Video games are about escapism. I suppose, to be fair, he isn't wearing any shoes. to hell. A revive if I die, I'm guessing. Good job. Thanks, Alpha. Freeze Lake. I was expecting ice physics. Oh, but holes can fall out of the ice. Okay, got it. I'm prepared for your nonsense. Ghost actually does besides getting in the way. I don't think I can kill it. Oh man, seriously? That's a submarine firing torpedoes. 
Is this the new crying part? Or at least it doesn't have any crying on it. That was a bad call. What's it like if I continue? Where will it put me? At the start of the stage, huh? Done with these missiles. They're driving me mad. I get it, you want to piss me off. Congratulations, you've done it. Oh boy. And you're meant to beat this game without dying, in order to see the ultimate ending. Coffee, yes! I'm thinking more. Dirty point number 7,452. <laughs> My friends, ImageFlexion has just agreed to stream this game and do it without dying. Well done, IFC. I'm so happy you you were ready to stand up and take that challenge. I lost a whole heart. I'm playing it on PC uh, PCSX too. You madman, you don't want to do that, trust me. The ramifications of your disobedience will be severe. God damn it. Huh? 
The moon went down into the lake. It's an alien. On board a giant mutant moon. This must be the last level then. Nightmare Castle. Yo, Lexter, welcome! <laughs> For forgive that IFC. Seriously, Superman 64. Ugh. These enemies are awfully generic for the last level. No, I don't think they are going to. It's just the lightning effect. They're windows to the outside. Ooh. That's inventive. I'm assuming this game will be less than an hour long. Then I'm going to see if there's a memory card save online. So I can show you the special forms and the other game modes. Uh, no, this game was released... Oh, I see what you mean. These games were sold at budget price. They, they would have been a third, maybe even a fourth the price of a full game. Part of the infamous Japanese... ...simple series. That can't be it. Yeah, I was about to say. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's okay. I got a dummy. I'm revived. That can't be it. <sighs> Alfie, he's referring to someone we know. I'm I'm not gonna get caught saying anything mean about anybody, especially anybody I work with or for. So apparently I got turned into a tree. Well, that was the whole game. Let's have a look, see if we unlocked anything. No. I'm going to have a quick look online and see if there's a, um, a save file for this game. With everything unlocked. Because if there is, we're going to load it up. There's a Japanese codebreaker save. Yes. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Cut that into my MC Alpha. Import. Code Broker save. Splatter Master. And then... That's what I get for not being cool enough. Oh, police. Right, so we now have a save with everything unlocked. So I'm going to show you all the cool stuff you can do in this game. If you beat it on harder difficulties and without dying. There's a survival mode, but um, that's just extra hard. Right. Normal, new costume, new character, equipment full. Oh, we're gonna set the difficulty back down to easy, because I'm a lame-o. Actually, normal will do. New character. <laughs> That's what it's about. Look at that. Freddy Krueger claws. That's how it should be. I love it. Yo, welcome Sushi Sunshine. This is for PlayStation 2. I'm playing it on PC. Yeah, still PS2. Oh! <laughs> 
This game is cool. I'll probably do a Sushi Bites mini on it, actually. Actually, that's a good idea. I haven't done a Sushi Bites in ages. I don't feel like doing a fully edited episode. I could do a mini on, um, on Spider Master. That's an idea. That's a good idea. I should get on that straight away. Shred, shred, shred. It's Birdman! Uh, possibly. Like, maybe on a Super Sentai game and then touch on Super Sentai in general. If, like, I did a Sushi Fights talking about all Super Sentai, first I would need to have a good knowledge of what I'm talking about, which I don't. And secondly, I'd need to talk about basically every Super Sentai show that ever happened. <laughs> I'd be happy to do one on a Super Sentai game. I was looking at the Kamen Rider games. I need to know which ones got a release outside Japan and which ones didn't. Break. That's the thing, I would need someone who knows about Super Sentai to help me. I'm not against collabing on Sushi Bites, in fact, it's something I've been planning for well over a year, I just haven't got round to asking the people necessary. Like, I want to prepare a few Sushi Bites scripts and get other people to voice them. I still do the editing, I still do the writing, they voice the script, and at certain points if they feel like they want to interject with something I've said, they can, by all means, like, go off the script and say, well, the script says this, but actually, I don't believe it. <laughs> you know. Shoujin Sentai Jetman. Well, I could do the two in one, like I... Like I did with uh, Aoi Blink, for example. I did a Sushi Bites on the game, talking about the show for context. Well, there wasn't three gargoyles last time. Oh yeah, because I'm on normal, aren't I? Not, not easy. You know what? That would be that would be fun if you did that in an in an episode that I scripted. Right, this boss is amazing. So everybody who wasn't here the last time we fought it. I played a Kamen Rider game for the Nintendo DS, but the fun thing was, that was one of the localised ones. When they started bringing Kamen Rider over as an actual English translated show. It was a good game, it was like a fighting game, but it had card elements. Yeah, that animatronic boss is hilarious, but also incredibly terrifying.
We're actually going to hurt it so bad we destroy its voice chip. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Come and ride a dragon knight. Yeah, that's the one that I played. It was very fun. It was a very good fighting game. Yeah, I was I was playing it on an emulator, but it, it played really well. It was a really fun game. I was like, oh, maybe maybe the maybe you know, Carmen Riders worth watching. It was like basically the the gist I got from that. Stupid green dogs. Would I stream Common Rider Dragon Knight? Maybe. I honestly can't think of a good reason why not. that um PS4 um common rider game what's that like and was that localized because the the screenshots I saw of that it looked really good the PS3 PS4 and Vita one It might be Japan only, but um, it looked really good. No, um, I think IFC, you're, um, situated somewhere in the US, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> 
Again, I'm not familiar with Ultra Man. Unless you're um, directing that to uh, to IFC. Both if you want. I don't think either of us want. I know absolutely nothing about Ultraman at all. Except that wasn't he played by the guy who was Sagata Sanchiro at one point? No, I've already got all the episodes of Japanorama and um, Adam and Joe Go Tokyo. I've got all that stuff backed up as as a Japanophile. Just angry. It's thanks to Japanorama that I learned about Densha Otoko. So good. Real feel good drama, that. And based on a real life story as well. Ah, oh, he played the original Kamen Rider. Fair enough. Then I know nothing about Ultraman. That doesn't mean I know anything about it. It was on Japanorama once. Now, how long ago it was I watched Japanorama? Coming up about six years now. I watched about half the series. It was really good. That was the series I gave my friend a DVD, uh, a selection of DVDs that I had ripped at the whole show, and he gave me his PS2 um, game CDs in return. So, like, his copy disc. Yo, IFC. Let me know when you was ready to do some DBZ stuff today. How long do you think you're gonna be? I know that he probably served as the inspiration for Jacko. That's pretty much it. Uh, I was asking you, IFC, um, how much longer you think it will be before we can do the Dragon Ball stuff today. Because I'm pretty much padding time at this point on this stream. We've beaten the game once. We're going through with infinite fuel. Which 
which makes the game <laughs> pretty easy. Just sort of killing time here. Yeah. How much do you think? Hey, guess what? It's your favorite part of the game. Can't hurt it. Sushi falls asleep on his keyboard. Oh yeah, that's the bit with the broken glass. Avoid that. This thing I'm going to kill extra fast time. Akihibara D. What's that? Never ending loading screen. A never ending loading screen? Uh, my stream's going. Haven't dropped any frames. Welcome, GM. How's it going? I'm fine, thank you. You? C-H-U-D. What, what's that? Alright. I reckon we should just 
stick them up. A video that's an hour long, you can you could probably get away with putting four ads in it. I know these people are watching us, Games Master. Are they going to get bored? Remember that you had a stream where people were watching us play Bomberman, lagging with with like bad internet speed between us, and they didn't get bored. We're naturally entertaining people, and we're playing a game we love, and we're very passionate about it. I don't think people are going to get bored. means a lot. Home in time for tea. Ah, oh, jerk. Using old bosses against me. Second half. I was turned back to normal.
Mum and Dad were so relieved. But son, you've been missing for 55 years! <laughs> oh dear. He hasn't come back quite normal. Ooh, there's a tune. And a video. Let's have this up. That's good, because I didn't want you to hear what I was going to say. Basically, I just wanted to get some footage of the uh, survival mode. And some footage of the last uh, costume, then we'll play something else. My voice should be back, though! I'm not muted now, bruv! You can hear me, can't ya? You can hear me! You can hear me, right? You can hear me, right? Come on! Right, you can. Excellent. Good, good. Right, moving on. Saxman! Just need to get some footage of survival mode and some footage of the costume because I'll make a Sushi Bites mini out of this. <laughs> Don't you dare swear in this chat. And 
No, if I was speaking about her, my stream would have been taken down, obviously. Like it was earlier. you got to admit, it was an interesting coincidence, wasn't it? That my stream goes down the moment I start bad-mouthing Anita Sarkeesian. Oh crap, I just said her name. I'm gonna get taken off the air. Don't be curious. Be safe. Get up. Can I point out the fact that there's an eye on that clock and therefore uh, this place is owned by the Illuminati? Basically, someone, I can't remember who, it might have been you, Sushi, someone asked me what I thought about Anita Sarkeesian. Anita Sarkeesian is an internet critic and professional victim who pretends to be hated en masse to, um, to push an agenda of, um, basically an anti-male agenda. She does this um, through hiding behind a crowd of people who are effectively her army of neck-bearded neck -bearded social justice warriors. I don't like her. She's a horrible person. She's scamming millions of people out of money for a web series she still hasn't finished. Which was funded, what, six times over? What it made? She's a, she's a scam artist, a, a fraud, and an awful human being. So the topic of her came up. And that was when my internet strangely cut out. Almost like someone was trying to censor me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was specifically the, you're a liar and you suck. Well, if everybody is saying you're a liar, maybe you should take that as a piece of constructive criticism. Perhaps you lied at some point. It's just like a... I mean, come on. If everybody's telling you that, maybe it means something. <laughs> but you know what? D dare, dare I say anything else, my stream will miraculously disappear again. So, we're not talking about it. Um, from tomorrow, her name is going to be banned in the chat. Well, here's the thing, Sushi Sunshine. How often do I stream and how often do I drop frames? Extremely rare that I drop so much as one frame. I'm just saying that after months and months of flawless streaming, I have one bad moment at the exact time I'm bad mouthing. The, the woman who every neck-bearded social justice warrior wants to sleep with and therefore defends. Because, I mean, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. They're defending a woman because they feel like they need to white knight 
the woman, the damsel in distress. It's Anita Sarkeesian playing into the very trope she so often claims is so apparent in media, and I will admit it is, for her to then, in a news article and like video, be walking escorted by a police officer into a car like a damsel in fucking distress. She's a scam artist and a fraud. She's a liar and a hypocrite. Anyway, not gonna talk. About it. <laughs> uh, not true. You say I'm gonna make sure their heartbeats point for this, okay? Because this is important. You say that all publicity is good publicity. That's not true. The real saying goes like this. Good publicity is worth a fortune. Bad publicity costs a fortune. There is no such thing as all publicity being good publicity. It's publicity, but I tell you, mud sticks. There is such a thing as bad publicity. You know who taught me that saying? My boss. And it's it's such a good saying that it stuck with me right up there. It's a legendary saying. <laughs> let her believe that everything sex is racist and homophobic and let her point it all out. Yeah. People will get sick eventually, by which time she'll have made so much money scamming people. There's nothing we can do about it. Like, vending machines are sexist. Humans are sexist, computers are sexist, washing machines are sexist, and you gotta point it all out. Beds are sexist because it's always women who make them. I'm kidding. I make my bed every day. Well, my futon. I sleep on a futon now. So you're still not quite used to it. Pooty. <laughs> Poutine is sexist because it has an E on the end. Like Maxine, a woman's name. <gasps> no. Okay, I think I've got enough footage of this mode, so we're going to switch game in a moment. I will save how far I got in survival mode, so I can come back to it later. I've seen that meme before, Keshi. Right, let's have a look what ISOs I've got kicking about for PS2. That is what I'm sort of in the mood to play right now. Oh, not that many. Uh. I'm curious if this will work on the emulator. Insert a PlayStation or PlayStation 2 format disc? Well, I never. Apparently that ISO is not good enough for you. Well, that's fine. I'll load a PlayStation 2 game from, like, my disc drive then. There's no way this will fail. Because we'll play an actual PlayStation 2 game on, on the PC from the disc. But it's your it's your fault, uh, PCSX2, because you have chosen what game we're going to play through your inability to play Dog of Bay. We have to play another rhythm game. We're not playing a rhythm game. Plug in swap disk. Error messages are sexist. Error four five three. I am a teapot. What is it? Four oh one. Which one is the I am a teapot error? I am a teapot 
error. That's error... 418. I'm a teapot. It's a it's a genuine error that if your um if your website brings back error four one eight it means your website is a teapot. Please insert a PlayStation or PlayStation two format disc and take your clothes off. <laughs> These guilty feet they have no rhythm. Don't think I particularly want to take my clothes off when playing this game, but you never know. It's hard. To, it's hard to tell with me. What is this now? Uh, it's a Nick game published by Two K Play, developed by Totally Games. Take Two Interactive, Dora the Explorer, and all related titles. Oh no! Well, obviously, I'm gonna be the swimsuit profile. Yeah! Now, how's this for a sexist video game? It's gonna go total shitlord. By the way, I own this. Here it is. Dora saves the mermaids. Start the adventure. Clean up the beach day and meet the clam. Hi, Boots. We're at the beach. You know why? It's Clean Up the Beach Day! We love the beach! So we're picking up any garbage we see to keep the beach nice and clean! It's because Dora the Explorer is going around cleaning up the beach. She's being forced to do a man's job. Diego will be in this game somewhere. He'll be in one of the levels. Garbage! Garbage! Garbage day! Vamanos, let's go! Garbage! Garbage! Is that all the garbage on the beach? That's got to be the world's cleanest beach. Oh dear. That looks like a clam. Why is Nickelodeon called Nickelodeon? Um, there was an old... Like... If you Google Nickelodeon, you'll probably get the answer. Um, put another nickel in in the Nickelodeon. All I want is happiness and music, music, music. It's a, it's a old piece of music. Oh, that's got a copyright ad on it. 
Ugh. So I can't play it, but um, it's it's a saying. It's a saying. Talk to me, clam. Gracias. Thank you for helping us clean up the beach. Hey, Dora. I think I see some more garbage. Oh, that's just the clam shell. Mm -hmm. Why can't he open his mouth to talk to us, Dora? Tell us to match the magic pearls. Maybe if we do, he'll open up. Match Pick the magic the pearls. Pearl that matches the scallop shell up here. Use the left analog stick to highlight the pearl with the same color as the scallop shells. Then press the action button to select that pearl. Now we've got to find the blue. The blue one. Try again. Try again. We need to find the magic pearl with the same color as the scallop shell. Okay. Find the blue pearl. Blue. Here's the blue pearl. La oh. perla azul. Okay. Now we've got to find the red pearl. Okay. Right, okay. Find the red pearl. Okay, got it. Here's the red pearl. La perla roja. Right, okay. Now we've got to find the green pearl. Muy bien. Great color matching. Thank you. Oh, gracias. Look, the clam is opening. a story to tell. Deep inside the ocean, there was a mermaid kingdom where everyone was happy as can be. But then, a mean octopus dumped garbage on their heads. Then, a beautiful young mermaid named Mariana found a magic crown and put it on. She made a wish, and suddenly the garbage was all gone! Hey, what happened? Once again, the kingdom sparkled. Up until the day, a wave rose up and swept her crown away. And now the octopus is back, dumping garbage! Oh you no! You to find the crown and save the mermaid kingdom! Bit of a kingdom. graphical glitch going on there. My she made a wish to Shenron. <laughs> She can wish Mermaid Kingdom clean. We've got to find the magic crown. Do you see the magic crown anywhere? Yes. It might be buried there. Okay, what's with the graphical glitch? There's like black marks in the top right of the screen. We found the crown! Thanks for helping! Gracias! Uh oh! The crown gems are missing from the crown! We have to find the crown gems or the crown won't have any magic! Oh no! Is one of the crown Ooh! Gems. The Chaos Emerald appeared and the like black, black marks went away. So we've got to get the seven Chaos Emeralds.
Yo, Cyber Fred Kruger, how's it going? Look, do you think there's something in there? Yeah, Dora, I can get it for you. Press the action button to have me jump in and search. Oh, nice one, Boots. You're not useless after all. Just saying that not to hurt his feelings, he is still useless. Can I speak Spanish, ERB? Cabrone. Can I speak Spanish? Resume! Go back to the adventure! Oh, rico, rico, que rico. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't speak Spanish. Joby, Joba! Have fun. Oh, I shall. <laughs> it seems that whenever you turn up, I'm playing a children's game. <laughs> Just how many gems are there on this crown? Okay, action button it is. Got another black smudge on the right hand side of the screen. Aha! I assure you, we played this lovely side scrolling beat map uh, based on horror movies earlier, but now we're playing Dora. There's something in there? Yeah, Dora. I can get it for you. Press, Press the, the action, action button. button. And I'll jump search. in and search. Sure. Just get in the fucking log. Thank you. Boots, wait! That's a tide pool. Lots of little sea creatures live in there. We have to find another way across. The, the music speeding up and slowing yeah. down is because it's streaming it from a CD-ROM drive, and it, the way a PC CD-ROM drive reads a disc is not the same as the way a, a PlayStation 2 reads a disc. Okay, it's a bit of a graphical glitch here. You'd think Dora the Explorer would be pretty crown. safe to emulate. I did it. 
The Mermaid's Crown. Let's look for more crown gems! We need to find them to give the crown its magic! I thought it would be right up your street, Sushi, because it's a kid's game. Look, it's right up my street, because it's a kid's there? game. Yeah, Dora. I can get it for you. Press the action button. Let me jump in and surf. The gems are used to open Please chests. Go Why would you go into it? Sorry, I'm okay. We'd be here all day if I pointed out every single niggle with this game. I'm sure I'll be. Yeah, you've got to admit, the animation and the 3D modeling is good. Like, the, the old... The old, old Dora games were 2D. Side scrollers, and they were very, like, cheaply, very simply made. Whereas these later games were far more involved, have a greater level of player freedom, they have a two player mode where an adult can help with difficult puzzles. These are fairly decent games, they were just, you know. Like all shovelware, you make one engine and then you just wrap out several games for it. Yeah. Uh, the DS Dora games, for example, they look rubbish. And the Go Diego Go game for DS looks rubbish. The graphics are all sort of pixelated and digitized. And then you get these Dora games that look like this. They're actually quite pleasing to look at and to play. Well, fan of the TV show right here, so... Take a gem but leave a tree full of bananas? What's wrong with you? The Love Hina game for Dreamcast, that was a isometric sort of styled RPG. You walked around the the bathhouse, right? I've played that. I actually played about half of it. Sort of similar to that animatic um, Cardcaptor Sakura game I played for Sushi Bites. Very similar in concept and gameplay. I quite liked it, what I played of it. As, as a Love Hina fan, I would. Or rather, as someone who watched the whole series and enjoyed it, I would. I wouldn't necessarily call myself a lucky enough fan. But that game was that game was good. I mean I have a I have a favourite goal. Resume! Go back to the adventure! This one? Yeah. I have a favourite Love Hina girl. I think everybody has their favourite. What's yours, um, sushi? Or rather, who? 
Who is your favourite girl in love, Hina? Just so we don't um, share a waifu. It needs to, we, we need to know. Nehru. Oh, fair enough. And in which case, my waifu is safe. Mitsune Kono. Oh, Kitsune. Mitsune. Aha. She's cool. I really do like Mitsune. We now have a soft spot for uh, for Shinobu as well. Poor um, what's her face? The the samurai. Um, she didn't. She hasn't had such a good time of it. She fell apart. Bless her. I mean, I managed to glue her hands back on, but her feet came off. I'm going to attempt again at some point to uh, glue her back together. The only one I don't have is Nehru, of those um, beach figures. The only one I don't have is Nehru. My favourite is Mitsune. Mitsune, Mitsune Kone. She's, she's definitely my favourite. Them all. Such a fun personality and alcoholic. Whee! Which this game is also available for. Okay, cool. We need to jump across on the drift. Fantastico. Driftwood glitching up the corner. Fantastico. Drifting into glitches. Fantastico. We made it across the water. I've se I've seen them all. Um, love Hina, Love Hina again, and the movie. So, but um, it was a very long time ago that I watched them. We've got to put the crown okay, and this version of the crown scene friend. works. Will you help? But the planks of wood didn't. Because I'm so great. And they're glitched up. Okay. Search for the seashell bridge. Dora, we don't know how to get to the Mermaid Kingdom. Like smudges we'll on the screen again. For help when we don't know which way to go. The map! The Yes. Will you check the map to find out how to get to the Mermaid Kingdom? Yes, I will. You have to say map. Map. Louder. Map. 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 I'm the map. Oh no, the Mermaid Kingdom is full of garbage. Dora and Boots need to go to the Mermaid Kingdom so they can give Mariana her crown. I know how to get to the Mermaid Kingdom. You go over Seashell Bridge. Okay. Then across Pirate Island. Then past the Silly Sea. And that's how you get to the Mermaid Kingdom. The Silly Sea. Do you know where to go first? Use the left analog stick to highlight where we need to go next. Okay. Then yeah, press sure. the action button to choose that location. Okay. Place we go to next. Try again. Okay. Try again. The first place we go 
twist the seashell branch. Right, the seashell branch. Bring down a gem and fix these black smudges. Because for some reason it does. Go team! Boing. Spanish teacher was mean to you. What a what a cabron. Eh? Eh? Of these convenient crabs on bloggers. Here. Whee! She flunked you for learning more than you were supposed to. Sounds like a lot of teachers. She just hated you. Make her suffer. I'm kidding. I don't condone anything like that. By making her suffer, I mean sit her down and force her to play uh, Dora Saves the Mermaids. That's what I mean. Oh god. Bitch! Absolute bitch. Am I right or am I right? Bitch, bitch, bitch. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Yeah, but who had the last laugh? You're friends with the amazing escape route British, and she isn't. Remember that. Uh, unless she regulars these streams, in which case I guess she is a friend of mine, in which case sorry. But uh Give me a gem, you turd. Thank y'all. Ohayou gozaimasu! Watashi wa mato! Ah, moe! <laughs> Hello there, friends! Can I help you? Hi! We need to cross Seashell Bridge so we can get to Pirate Island! Oh, well there's only one way to cross my bridge. You have to follow the shells from one to nine. Good luck, friends. To cross the bridge, we need to follow the shells from one to nine. We can do that. <laughs> the octopus is dumping garbage, so we can't get across. I need your help. Will you check my backpack for something we can use to clean up the dirt? You have to say backpack. Bag. 
can use to clean up the dirt. To move the arrow to what we need, use the left analog stick. Then press the action button. Okay, I think I got this. To clean up dirt. Play the drums. That's not it. Try again. To clean up dirt, we need to look at it. That can't help clean the garbage on the seashell bridge. Try again. We would kick a ball into it and it'll send it all up. This vacuum cleaner can help clean up the seashell bridge. Really? Yum, 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 yum. Delicioso! button over and over again to help Boots vacuum up the garbage. Or don't and the game will still play itself anyway. Oh, I'm good at this. <laughs> oh no, garbage! What? Am I doing it wrong? It's working. How many times have I got to do this? We can cross seashell bridge now. Okay, excellent. We need to follow the shells from one to nine. Okay, Choose easy. Choose the shell Boots needs to jump on. Use the left analog stick to move the highlight and then press the action button. I've got this. Four. Whoa! Oops, we need to follow the numbers in order. Okay. Try again. Seven. Whoa! Oops, we need to follow the numbers in order. I guess Try it's... Okay. Again. Okay, one. One. Okay. Next is eight. Whoa! Oops, we need to follow the numbers in order. Try again. Okay, it must be five next. Whoa! Oops, we need to follow the numbers in order. Try again. Two. Okay, next is six. Whoa. Yo, welcome the great Oops. gamer and we vlogs. How's it going? I'm doing a terrible Try job again. counting. It is nine next, isn't it? Whoa! Oops, we need to follow the numbers in order. Okay. Try again. I guess it's three. Okay, three. It goes one, two, three, one, right? Whoa! Oops, we need to follow the numbers in order. Try again. One, two, three, seven, five, right? I'm so rubbish at this. Try again. Okay, one, two, three, four. Two. Whoa! Oops, we need to follow the numbers in order. Try again. One, two, three, four, eight. Whoa! Oops, we need to follow the numbers in order. Try again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, five I guess. Two, three, four, five. Nine. Whoa! Oops! We need to follow the numbers in order. Three. Try again. Three. Whoa! Oops! I we guess need not. To follow the numbers in order. Try again. Six then. Six. Okay. Definitely four. Whoa! Oops! We need to follow the numbers in order. Try again. One. Because we could Whoa. go one, two, three. Oh, Oops. okay. We need to follow the numbers in order. Try again. <laughs> Seven, Seven it is. All right, I think it's five next, isn't it? Whoa. Oops. We need to follow the numbers in order. Try again. Two. Whoa. Oh. Oops. I've we never had to do this much counting before. Order. Try again. Eight. Definitely eight. Yay, graphical glitch! Uh, it's three, surely. Whoa! Oops, we need to 
follow the numbers It's gotta be order. six. Try again! Whoa! Oops! We need to follow the numbers in order! Try again! Nine. I guess it's nine. Did you just say great pounding? Nah, mustn't have been. We've got to put the crown gems back on the magic crown. Will you help? Yay! You did it! You <laughs> I believe you me. It's deliberate, great gamer. I like I like a good joke. Uh, like a good joke, especially at my own expense. I'm sure you can tell that I deliberately, deliberately counted wrong on every single one of those. Every time they've asked me, "What do we need to do? Where do we need to go?" I've picked every single wrong answer to. F to show that the game forces you to pick the right one. You see. Yeah, yeah, it's jokes. I can count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I can count. I'm just deliberately playing badly. Because it's a children's game, I want to point out how ridiculously easy it is. That it forces you to pick the right answer. Now count in Japanese. Uh, E-N-Sa... Oh, no, no. Ichni Sanshi Go... No. It's gone. That's something I never bothered to learn. What software do I use? I'm using XSplit. I paid for an XSplit license and I'm very happy I did because it's very easy to use. very user-friendly software, even though they have moved everything since um, since the last update. Now everything's under a different name at the Can't top. Walk in the icky, sticky mud, or we'll get stuck. What do we do, Dora? We can use that rope to get across. Vamanas! Vamanas! Let's go! Use that rope to get across. Hi, your mum. I'm playing Dora the Explorer. I'm a grown adult. So this all monster high for for our stream of the year so far. Uh, monster high. I'm gonna run a stream of the year poll at the end of this year. I'm playing Radiant Silver Gun. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm that good at shooters to be able to play Radiant Silver Gun. I could probably get through R-Type Delta if I had enough lives. That'd be pretty much it. Whee! Whee! You're not the person who has to clean those pants up, are you, Dora? 
You get home and your mum's like, oh, she's gone out exploring again. Okay. I'm the map! Dora and Boots need to go to the Mermaid Kingdom so they can get Mariana her crown! Where do we go next? Use the left analog stick to highlight where we need to go next. Okay, then we definitely... Press the action button to choose that location. Okay. We definitely need to go to the Seashell Bridge. Okay, we need to go to the Silly Sea. That's not the place we go to next. It's not? Try again. Then, oh, Mermaid City, of course. The next place we go to is Pirate Island. Right, Pirate Island. Okay, Pirate I Well... Yeah! Let's. Chinese is a cool language. We've got to put the it crown is. gems back on the magic crown. Will you help? Has it actually remembered which slots I put them in? It has. That's impressive. I did Put it! Put the crown gem back on the magic crown! Excellent, good, good. Cross the jetty and Swiper swipes. <gasps> Swiper? Look, Boots! The octopus is dumping more garbage! Mean octopus! itself the game's just playing itself John boots we need to go back and clean the garbage the mean octopus left behind let's do it <laughs> Blah blah blah, shut your big mouth, Dora. Of course swipers are perfect. I'm so glad I didn't follow that up with the joke that was up here in my head. Dora 
look! The octopus put garbage on that whale! <laughs> and the whale can't see with the garbage over her eyes! She's going to bump into us! Yell, stop whale! Stop whale! Oh, I can't see anything with all this garbage! We can help you, Whale. We need Swiper to swipe the garbage off the whale. <laughs> we have to say, Swiper, swipe. Swiper, swipe. Swiper, swipe. Swiper, swipe. Swiper, swipe. Swiper, swipe. We need Swiper to swipe the garbage off the whale. <laughs> to get Swiper to swipe the garbage, press the action button again uh, and again. Who, who's tweeted? <laughs> Swipe swiper. swiper! Oh my god! Somebody's tweeted garbage. about this stream. Let's see who it is. Thank you, Kin! Take an escape from the daily grind with this YTG streamer now live. Thank you, Kin! Swiping. Are you watching? Are you here in the background? Sneaking hey, about? I see you again! Thanks! And thank you too, Swiper! I love swiping! <laughs> I know you do! <laughs> you love swiping! <laughs> I can think of many things he likes to swipe. Old ladies uh, disabled parking badges. The three mayonnaise sachets out of Burger King. The Fox of Ultimate Evil. Swipe her this fall. Swipe like your life depends on it. Swipe her, no swiping. Rated M for mature. Yes, I, I like to think that it's a magical spell. Making him swipe. And keep that IFC on a leash. We've got to put the crown gems back on the magic crown. Well, Sounds like a plan. Pirate Island. We made it to Pirate Island. Yo ho ho. Oh no, it's actually Somalian Pirate Island. I like that even better, Keshi. Yeah, I got a nice selection of bootleg DVDs, including Frozen 2. Uh oh, these coconut trees won't let us by. How are we gonna get across the island? Ahoy, ladies! Welcome to Pirate Island. We need to get across Pirate Island to find the silly sea. But the trees won't let us by. Oh, the trees can be very tricky, but they'll let you by if you play the coconut conga. We've got to play the coconut conga to get across the island. Will you play? 
play the coconut conga with us? Great! Play the conga drums in the same order that I play. Okay, I got it. All right, take care, Sushi. I think I got it. It's uh. Move the highlight with the left analog stick. Then press the action button. Okay, I got it. Blue. That's not the order. Try again. Okay. Red. Definitely blue. I'll play the drums in the right conga! Thanks, pig. Play the conga drums in the same order that I play. Green, blue, red. Okay. I think I got it. Now you play the drum. That was blue. That's not the order. Try again. Was red? Definitely, I definitely heard him say red. Oh, never mind. This helpful pig's gonna do it for me. <laughs> I swear to God, you monkey asshole! You play the drums. Uh, blue? That's not the order. Try again! Blue? Try again! It's green, blue, then red! Blue? I hate games that complete themselves for you. you. Did it. You the it annoys me. That's why I do it. Wow. Wow, that's quite a slur. Depends on how the mods are feeling about that. That's quite a slur. That's. Wow. Across here, we need the keys that will fit these locks. Will you help me pick the keys we need? To choose a key, use the left analog stick, and then press the action button. Find okay. the triangle key to fit the triangle keyhole. Triangle key, okay, it's that one. That's not the key we need. Try another one. It's definitely the square key. That's not the triangle key. A triangle has three sides. Well, a square has three sides. Here's the triangle key. Square key to fit the square keyhole. The square key for the square keyhole. 
It's this one. That's not the key we need. Try another one. Definitely this one. That's not the square key. A square has four sides. Circle has four sides. They're just smoothed out. Here's the square key. Now find the <laughs> circle key to fit the circle keyhole. Yes, me hearties! We are the bridge! <laughs> Hooray! Thanks, Cyber. Now we can cross the bridge over this swampy swamp. Vamanos! Let's go! We've got one little graphical glitch there in this scene. There's a circle. Oh, it disappeared. <laughs> Thanks for getting in the way, you pig bastard. Let's go, Vamanos, dipshits. <laughs> I'm pointing out that this game deliberately, like, if you keep getting the wrong answer, just answers it for you. That's what I'm pointing out is how, like, stupid this is. That it would even offer you... That it would even offer you, like, an option when nine times out of ten it picks the correct answer if you fail. That just makes me laugh so much. I love it. That's why I deliberately picked the wrong one. Because it's funny. To me, it's funny. To to stretch it out, to make it annoying for you to watch, makes it funny to me. Do you know what I mean? Like, have you seen Zootropolis? Zootopia, right? And there's a scene with the sloth, and they they stretch it out until it's unbearable. And then they keep going. It's brilliant. Is that an actual David Cage quote? Because if it is, that guy is more of a nutcase than I thought. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? There's a mouse click sound effect. It's so out of place. Some dolphins who swim in these waters. We can give you a ride across it. If we can find them, that is. We've got to call me Primo Diego. He's an animal expert, so he can help us. Say, Diego! Diego! Hi, Diego! Hola, Dora! Hi, Boo! Here he is, Mr. Hi. McGuffin, here to save the day. Primo, we need your help. Those dolphins can be hard to find. To the there they are. Say, squeak, squeak. 
Oh, this is making me want to cry. Help Diego call to the dolphins. When the dolphins are out of the water, press any action button and say, Squeak. Squeak. Try again. Squeak. Call the dolphins when they're out of the water. Squeak. Try again. Call the dolphins when they're out of the water. Okay, got it. Squeak. I'll call the dolphins to give us a ride across the silly sea. Squeak. Squeak. <laughs> now do it again. Squeak. Try again. Call the dolphins when they're out of the water. Squeak. Try again. Call the dolphins when they're out of I'm the trying. water. I'm trying. I'm calling them when they're out of the water. Squeak. Oh, damn it. Try again. Call the dolphins when they're out of the water. I'm trying. Squeak. Try again. <laughs> Call the dolphins when they're out of the water. Squeak. I'll call the dolphins to give us a ride across the silly sea. Go on then, Dora. Squeak. Squeak. Now do it again. Squeak. That's really like a rubbish squeak sound. Like a splash. I'm just not even going to do it now. She can do it. When the dolphins are above the water, press the action button to call them. Entering the animation, you can literally see them fly back to the center. Squeak. Try again. Call the dolphins when they're out of the water. Squeak. I'll call the dolphins to give us a ride across the silly sea. You do it then. I did it. You patronizing bitch. Dora and Boots need to go to the Mermaid Kingdom so they can give Mariana her crown. Where do we go next? Where do we go the next? Left analog stick to highlight where we need to go next. Then press the action button to choose that location. Okay. We definitely go to the Mermaid Kingdom next. Definitely in the Mermaid Kingdom. That's not the place we go to next. Try again. But it is. We're going to the Mermaid Kingdom. The next place we go to is the Silly Sea. <clears throat> You're That's a silly sea. Silly Sea. I did it. I am best explorer. Use the left analog stick to go around the garbage. garbage so we don't hit I like this. Use the left analog stick. Okay. Play in the water. 
garbage. I have no idea why it's happening. It's happened a few times in this game, actually. Watch this, watch this, right? This way! And then the boat moves to the correct position. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing it. The game's been doing it for a while. <laughs> that moment when the game you played as a bonus on your stream lasts longer than the game you were meant to be streaming in the first place, and you beat super quick. That can, like, contain a lot of garbage, that boat. Shut up! been doing it for the whole game so far. To move the magic crown, use the left analog stick. Then press the action button to place the crown gem into the hole on the magic crown. That's not where that goes. Does this you for you? The RB, I swear to God. Looking 
for my magic crown. I needed to wish my mermaid kingdom clean. We've got your crown right here. Oh no, Dora! <laughs> Dora, the magic crown will give you just one wish. I wish I could be a mermaid. I wish I could be a mermaid. Glitter pack! Apply shades of power! Oh, Fucking hell. Dora, you have to keep picking up crown gems. There are still some missing. And if you don't find them, the magic will disappear from the crown. Thanks, Mariana. We'll keep looking. Dora, now you can save the mermaid kingdom. <laughs> but no saving the kingdom. I'm the mermaid! And boots need to go to the mermaid kingdom. Where do we go next? Use the left analog stick to highlight where we need to go next. Definitely press seashell the bridge. Button to choose that location. Definitely seashell. See seashell bridge first. Try again. Okay. Okay. Fine. Pirate Island. Then we go to the Silly Sea. The next place we go to is Mermaid Kingdom. Now you see, I was saying Mermaid Kingdom Mermaid the whole Kingdom. time, and now you're telling me that the second I change it, it's not right? Hmm. I'm a mermaid. Yay. Oh my god, this game is sin. No, this game is Dora the Explorer saves the mermaids. But you're close. Biggest dogfish is that one. That's not it. Try again. But it is that one because it's got the biggest heart. We're looking for the biggest one. You don't understand. He has the biggest heart. He saved me when I was a young boy. <laughs> Set the dogs <laughs> off. The silly sea creature that knows the way is the one that is the smallest. Where is the smallest catfish? The smallest catfish. Now, I've dated all these catfish, and this catfish definitely had the smallest. Okay, it's definitely this one. We're looking for the smallest one. Exactly. It's definitely this one. Here's the one that is the smallest. See, that's the one. Meow, meow. Yeah. 
Yes, go ahead. <laughs> ERB, this is worse than the time I broke it. The an arm. creature that knows the way is the one that is the smallest. Where is the smallest chicken fish? Hong Kong. <laughs> the smallest chicken fish. He is definitely the biggest chicken here. That's not it. Try again. We're looking for the Wait, wait, wait. It's one. just hit me. Chicken fish. What a great idea for a burger. Here is the one that is the smallest. See, that's the one. Quack, quack. <laughs> quack, quack. Like Burt Quack. Oh no, I missed a gem. I love how irritating this is. It's brilliant. <laughs> I need to get more children's games under my belt, you know? Imagine if your game progress was measured by top authorities for educational purposes. <laughs> that would be funny. Because they get a very accurate readout about me. My mental age is like three. I'm kidding, my mental age is like well over 200. I'm senile. Clearly this guy is more... Yes, but he does have exceptional skill at, at uh, entertaining people on the internet. No, no, mediocre at best. We. Any reason why you're doing that, Dora? It's the Mermaid Kingdom! My mental age is insert old DBZ meme here. My mental age is Space Australia! We've got to put the crown gems back on the magic crown! Will you help? To move the magic crown, use the left analog stick. Button to place the crown gem into the hole on the magic crown. That's not where that goes. We need to find the hole on the crown that matches the crown gem. Here's the hole on the crown that matches the crown gem.
<laughs> Level 9, the Mermaid Kingdom. We're gonna save the mermaids. What is the band that plays at the end? Queen. They're a famous rock band from, from like the 80s. It's working! Yes! The magic crown is cleaning up all the garbage! I'm I'm collecting garbage. Vamanos, let's go. The Queen of Dumbness. Yes, absolutely. If she says garbage one more time, I swear to fucking God. How much more painful is it with no sound? Wanna well, know what the crazy thing is? Since I muted the game, she hasn't said garbage anyway. I can't swim with all these bubbles in the water. We need to turn off all the bubble jets. To choose a bubble jet, use the left analog stick. Then press the action button over and over again to pop the bubbles. Do you see the green bubble jet? Again, we need to find the green bubble jet. Try again. We need to find the green bubble jet. Here's the green bubble jet. Press the action button over and over again to pop the bubbles. Pop the bubbles. Pop. I'm being summoned, let's get this over with. Do you see the red bubble jet? Pop the bubbles faster! Do you see the blue bubble jet? Try again! I'd love to stretch this out, but I'm being summoned. I certainly popped your happy bubble. That isn't the only thing I've popped. Garbage! I'm 
so evil. <laughs> I love it. I am best man. I am so cruel. I love it. <laughs> Blood vessel and aneurysm. The mermaid kingdom is saved. Thank you! <laughs> There's that one guy supporting you while the rest of us are eternally screaming. <laughs> some garbage where it doesn't belong, Octopus. But I, I love to dump garbage. No one wants garbage dumped on them. Oh, you're right. I'm really, really sorry. From now on, all garbage goes to the garbage dump. Promise? I promise. Hooray! We did it, Loisimos! Hey, we should all help to keep things clean. Yeah! Thank you for cleaning up the Mermaid Kingdom. Here's a mermaid necklace. You can put it on and visit us anytime. Gracias! I love being a mermaid. I'll come back and see you soon. She never did. Well, there can't be fireworks during the day. You wouldn't see them. Fantastico. Look at all the people who helped me save the mermaids.
Where was I? Oh yeah, Dora the Explorer, the mermaids. This looks like a fun game. Let's play it. <laughs> Not gonna do it. I'm curious as to if anything happened while the credits were on. Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Maybe. We don't see the true ending until you've beaten the game on all three files? Don't you want to see the true ending? Don't you want to save the Mermaid Kingdom forever? I've got just the game. This uh, this is the true movie experience. It's it's ten ten watching the movie, and as we all know, it's the best movie ever made. Fact. This game. is truly one of the best ever put to, to video game form. Like, how can you say no to Lassie? Lassie! Oh, this is great. This game does this. Controller 1 is definitely a DualShock 2. I might not be able to play this, because this game insists on a DualShock 2. Even if you're playing on an emulator and saying it's a DualShock 2, it has to be an actual DualShock 2 plugged into your PC, not an Xbox 360 controller to be able to play it. So, we can't play it. Oh, what a letdown. I'll just go through and, you know, make sure that, uh, that that's definitely how it's going to be. Uh, if only someone had made another plugin that that was designed specifically for Lassie to make the controller work. If only that existed, then we'd be able to play this game made with the famous Vicious Engine. But unfortunately, such a plugin exists. E R B Is this game bad? <laughs> <clears throat> yes. This game is awful. No, of course it's not bad. I'd never play a bad game. Except for the Bible game. Sonic Genesis. Naughty. Dora saves the mermaids.
Let's keep up with the story, guys. It's very important. <clears throat> yes, the door of the Explorer games were also built on Vicious. Oh, no. Oh, you guys might be very lucky. It appears the game has crashed. You are so very lucky. I know, it's terrible. I know we were all looking forward to, uh, to playing this game. We're all hoping to play it. Oh well, I have to pick something else. But I had my heart set. I had my heart absolutely set on playing Lassie. So I'm going to try one more thing, just to see if I can get it to work. And then if it doesn't work after that, I'll like, I will accept defeat. Okay? But we're going to try one more thing. And if that doesn't work, then it's goodbye lassie. I'll play something else. I just need about a minute and a half. I can play some music while we wait.
I read that entire sequence and I was muted. It is dramatic though. It's great. So. What button is jump? X, right? No. Circle? No? Maybe it's like Devil May Cry and it's triangle. No. Square? Square is jump? Yeah, it's not bad stock music that they bought for cheap. <laughs> I am Lassie. I am Queen of the Dogs. Over we go. Aha! Uh -huh. The pink bones are a speed boost, if I can get it. Whee! Give me a blue bone. Look how the marker is pointing that. You always thought Lassie was a guy. Lassie. Lass. Girl. Lass. Lass. E? As in girl E? Whatevs. Pew! Do 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 You can't go this way So why's the bone here? I don't know where I'm meant to be going, but the arrow points me that way, but it's blocked off. Who dares? Follow the tracks? Ask for help! Sir! I think I saw him heading out of town, lassie! Thanks! Okay, I can follow the tracks, but that might not lead anywhere. Spoiling my fun. Spoiling my fun, guys, seriously. Lassie could Yeah, Lassie can talk to humans. Lassie is the most amazing dog. Okay. I know this one. It's... Yep. And... Mm hmm. Yep. And. Right away clean. I'm the best dog.
Wow, such gameplay. I feel like I really am saving my pups. Well done, Lassie, you found your pup. Sorry, Lassie, we didn't know this was one of your litter. We shouldn't have trusted Heinz. I've given Joe a call. He'll be here shortly. Well done, Lass, you found one. Let me take care of her while you track down the rest. Right, let's get you home. Found a pup. Save game. Feed, water, exercise, special play. Downhill pursuit. A rescued pup safe with Joe. Lassie sets off in pursuit of the others. Suddenly in front of Lassie, a walker appeared from off the moors. Lassie, have you lost any of your pups? Lassie barked a strong clear yes. Well, I think that as I was walking, I heard tires squealing and looked across the road. I saw a little collie pup running for all it was worth. I shouted, but the... Good luck, Lassie, shouted the walker. Lassie set off at great speed and quickly found the hill the walker spoke of. She could hear the cries of... How could she get down such a steep slope? And how could she get there quickly? Looking around, Lassie soon came up with a plan. Where's your WKD? It's right here. Guide Lassie to the foot of the hill as quickly and safely as you can. Use the left animal stick to steer Classy, Classy on the hill by pushing it left and right. You can also pull it back to break or push it forwards to accelerate. Beware of areas of rough ground which will slow you down. And avoid rocks and trees which might stop you altogether. And avoid false trails, otherwise Lassie might need to start again. Yeah, I'm in my world. Actually, yeah. Uh. Yes. Do 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 <laughs> Rough ground will slow you down, lassie. <laughs> okay, you are ready. Oh, excellent. Cool, then the stream may stop soon. I finished tormenting everybody. You can do it, Lassie. Remember what de Gaulle said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. You can do this.
You can do it, lassie. How unfortunate. You're not all going to get to see the uh, the whole of Lassie. Such is a shame. Oh, you can show them. You want to punish everybody here in the chat, don't you? Well done, Lassie. You have found your pub. Oh, what a relief. At last, Lassie has reached the stranded pup. The pup is chilled to the bone, but warmed by the sight of her mother. Eventually cold and tired, mother and pup make it home where Joe is overjoyed to see them. Alright, take care, Taco. Lassie had... Pups. It soon died of frostbite. The end. <laughs> Welcome back, Silent. Feed! Water! Exercise! Feed! Water! Exercise! Feed! Special drink! Special drink! Round them up, lassie! Right, lass, I've got some good news! I had that old farmer jolly out of Hassock's farm port one of the paps. I can look after these. Oh, uh, lassie, dear, oh dear. I guess I should have known better than to trust that Heinz bloke. Of course you can have your pup back. But you could... My old Meg is feeling a little poorly, and the sheep need to be rounded up. I really would appreciate it if you could help me out. Lassie barked, yes! Thanks, lassie. I'll keep an eye on your pup till you're finished. Lassie's job is to round up all of Farmer Jolly's sheep. The sheep will move away from Lassie as she approaches, which means you can hurt the sheep in whatever direction you choose. Wow, this music. Remember, though, that you need to get this... ...into coloured pens. Oh my god. Okay. Get in the pen! Oh, you! Sheepy! Get in the fucking pen! 
motherfucker. Get in the pen, you bastard. Get in the pen. You'll be someone's dinner this time next year. Get in the pen. Come here, you. <laughs> woof, 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 woof. I've had enough of these sheep. Isn't this the best, like, music in a video game ever? Woof, 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 bang! No more barking for you, lassie. Oh, this controller isn't... This controller plug-in. Yeah, this controller plug-in doesn't allow for for triggers. It's too primitive. Looks like a blarney cow pie. Cow pies, my favorite. Wait, not that kind of that.
Wait, can we just point out? <laughs> are you, are you a poorly drawn dog herding poorly drawn sheep? Yes, I am. Welcome, Chris. Plays game, games. Can we point out that our puppy is being held hostage by a farmer until we do this? Can we point that out? <laughs> hey, Chris. So much fun. <laughs> this game is so bad. <laughs> Lassie. Blows my mind. No game should be this awful and exist. Come on, you. out of the field. Come on. I was a bit sheepy. Bark one more time. I dare you. I double dare you. No, I refuse. I refuse to bark like any more times now. Practicing. Oh, what are you streaming? If I'm still awake at that time, I'll uh, I'll check it out. What are you streaming? Superstar. Oh, nice. That is, that is some tight platforming, that game. Like, it's got some really nice platforming controls in it. Yeah, Super Star Wars, it's, it's good. The whole series is good. They are hardcore games, but I think you'd really enjoy them. Like, difficulty-wise, they're ridiculous. Get out of the road! Stupid cow. Yeah, that's the one. The ones that look really good, but are really, really difficult. Oh, come on! Now why couldn't they have a fence here? Better yet, why couldn't all four pens be in the same field? It's, it's a challenging game. It's a good way to practice, though. Yeah, this sheep really doesn't want to go, like, where I'm going to push it. That's okay, he's going to end up on somebody's dinner table, like, next year, so... I like a good bit of mutton myself. Come on. Sheepy. get them over a pixel thin bridge come on but that's still not enough even here oh god one more 
Oh no, I accidentally barked. But that was one in the whole journey, so. It's a life killer fall. It's fine. Like, why wouldn't you just put the pens closer? Why do you have to. Why do you have to go across a bridge and go from one field to the other? Meanwhile, this insanely happy music plays. Where's the last sheep? All the way over here. Finally getting it down. Padding because they're sheep and they have wool. Ugh. Ugh. No. How very dare you. Come on. Get in here. Over the bridge, come on. What was once fun music is now annoying. Go let Farmer Jolly know you have completed the task. Go back and let the guy know. Follow me and we'll fetch your pup. He knows full well what he's doing. So like I've said, he has cordoned off my pup. Well, Lassie, you did a grand job. And hey, that rest has helped Meg get back on her feet too. Good luck finding the rest of your pups. Excellent, Lassie. This one looks in much better shape than the last. Good old Farmer Jolly. He did say that, didn't he? And then he was there standing by the field. Feed. Water. Exercise. Exercise. Water. Feed. Exercise. Water. Feed. I is good, doggy mum. These games were incredibly cheap to make and were published ve very, very cheaply. Like, this game came out 2007. 
The Great Escape! Tom, Dick and Harry! You'll never guess, lass. While you were away, I was chatting with the postman. He said while doing deliveries up at the big house... Why don't you nip up there and investigate, lassie? It's too much of a coincidence for my liking. Yeah, Dog's Life is a good game. So Lassie made her way to the manor house near the village, but she was not to receive a warm welcome. Get away with you, you dirty mongrel, shouted the head gamekeeper when Lassie tried to trot, trot through the gates. To rescue this pup, Lassie was going to have to use all her cunning. Hey, you can buy that, like... 20 grams. Guide Lassie through the gardens of Manor House to find a pup, then lead her to safety. You must, at all costs, avoid being seen by the humans in the garden. If they see and catch Lassie, they will throw her out, and she'll need to try again from the start! I bet you can't find me! So much for finding me. Come on, you assholes. What I'm pointing out is that I'm barking loudly and they can't find me. It's like you must at all costs avoid being seen and then yet I can be seen constantly and there's no like negative effect whatsoever. I'm just saying. Well done lassie, you found your pup. He's clapping. What's he clapping for? Come on, babe. I've got to get you out of here. I don't think so. Come on, Babs, you could do it. Come 
on, Babs. Who wouldn't want such a fine dog as Lassie? Way. When you're a lonely West Country farmer, you find love wherever you can. Over here, Lass, quick! shouted Joe as Lassie and her pup emerged from the manor house grounds. Well, that's another for me to take care of now. Nearly got a full house again, eh, Lass? And look, if I'm not mistaken, I recognize those tracks. Too far. How far is too far? Your mum investigates. Dispatches. How far is too far? That apparently running around in a circle is exercise. I know. That's why I said it. Because you're here. <laughs> because you know you've experienced it. Hi, Taco. So you got your old account back. Which is cool. So I guess I'm not calling you Panda anymore. Which is good. Lassie the Miner. Yes, when I saw the back of this box and Lassie had like a helmet on her head. With a... Lassie follows the muddy tracks left by Heinz's van. They lead Lassie to a remote cottage nestled beneath a hill at the edge of a forest. Why yes, Lassie, we did have a pup that looked just like you. Bought it off that Heinz bloke. Said it was all done proper. The thing is, Lassie, she ran away yesterday morn. We chased, but she ran into the old mine. We waited for... This is where she went, Lassie. I truly hope you can find her, girl. Lassie's pup is lost somewhere in the mine. Use your eyes, ears, and nose. This thing. To explore the mine and rescue the pup. Ah, uh, second thoughts, fuck it. Oh wait, no. I have to do it. Wow, I want to know what kind of mines there are in the freaking West Country. Can I get me some of these crystals? Are you sure this wasn't made for another game and then they just slapped Lassie on it? These are the assets we made for a Morrowind style game. We've got the uh, OST and we've got the cave. Well, let's use the cave and the OST from your Morrowind clone and stick Lassie in it for no reason. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> that way. Oh, man. Oh, you're on the same account, you just changed your name back. So, you are X Panda, but back to I am Attacker. Oh, nice. That's cool. 
miniature golf music. I was gonna say, um, third person adventure set in a... Come on, don't tell me you had good enough beta testers. I want to clip through the wall, come on. Come on. Dang it, look, it, it looks so possible. I reckon if somebody gave me some time to try it, I could do it. So I'm gonna save a save state here. Cause I'm convinced I can do that later in my own time. I'm convinced I can get through that wall. I reckon it can be done though. There's no way they paid that much for quality assurance testing on this. The only testing that happened with Lassie is the amount of people who uh, who played it that they're being tested on. A ladder? Can't climb up it. <laughs> nice one. Dogs outside are going crazy again. They know I'm playing uh, Lassie.
Why do I even listen to that arrow? It keeps pointing me into... I might not have found the pup by then. <laughs> Who knows? I don't regularly get subscriptions, so you won't see the notification very often. Because I don't play games that get subscriptions, like Minecraft, or Roblox, or Agario. I play Lassie, and Dora the Explorer, and Monster High. Undertale. I got a couple from playing Undertale. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> For what?
negative attention. Um, I can't stand the Undertale fan base. Like the 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 toxic part of it. Whoa! <laughs> Thank you, person! Well, that cheered me up. <laughs> that cheered me up. Hashtag person. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. That was good. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it's not the first time the generous person has struck. Especially seeing as there's a theory out there that Death Stranding and PT are still the same game, Konami um, have not fired Hideo Kojima and that Silent Hills is still coming out under the name Death Stranding as a PS4 exclusive through Konami. Yeah, so I need to play through PT again to, um, to see all the bits of evidence that support that theory.
So knowing that if I keep hugging the left, maybe I should just go forwards. Try, f try to find your baby. Doggy, doggy, dog, dog. Baby, bork. Bork. Your baby, bork. Bork, baby. Oh boy. I stopped playing this game long before this level. If I knew about this level, I probably wouldn't have played this game <laughs> on stream. come too far, you must complete this game. Okay, it looks like our um, Xenoverse session will be a little bit later than planned IFC. You know how it is. You show them a game that they don't want to see and they even hoped would crash and then, you know, you show them so much of it that they fall in love with it and they want to see the end. You know how
Over 9,000! Seconds. solves my problem have earned yourself a subscription and also excellent taste in games You really have played some shit though. Oh, there's a feature that I'm not using that might be the answer.
The playthrough of this game was in two. really hard to see where we're going here.
new game. Oh, the uh, tweet for the new game review on random access went up. I mean, soy bombs around. When there's a soy bomb around, that means there's trouble. Trouble for trolls. Oh, thank God for that, you fucking stupid dog. The poor pup was overjoyed to be reunited with her mother. She was too weak though, so Lassie carried her to safety. Lassie and her thoroughly exhausted pup are glad to be home. Well done, Lassie, just one more pup to rescue now. Come on, let's get you some food. If you look, those bones we got counted. Yes, but we have an extra puppy to add to the tedium of doing this. They all have a red collar, even though the dogs themselves in the 3D models have different color collars. The picture on the left indicates they all have the same collar. Desserts. Joe's excited. He has just heard some good news. Look, lass, villain hunt haunts more, and they say lights have been seen up the ruins of the old castle. I think I know who this must be, and where your last pup is. This is your show. Yes. Lassie approached the castle with excitement, but caution. She knew that Heinz was a dangerous man, and that the ruined castle was a perilous place to be at the best of times. But she would do anything to rescue her missing pup. Anything, Lassie? The evil Eddie Hines is hiding somewhere in the ruined castle. Watch out for the traps he set and for the vicious guard dogs roaming the building. If you can defeat Hines, Lassie's last pup is sure to be nearby.
how the camera keeps pulling up. It's really irritating. I can't do shit with a camera that keeps doing that. I just saw the inside of that dog's head. this game. I have to rescue my puppies. I'm looking out for the guard dog. I can't see a guard dog. Anywhere. Dog seems friendly now. Come on! If you help me find my puppies, I might even, you know, you have a little bit of this. Wait, where is it? following me. All three of you? Two. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, come 
Come on! Okay. I get it. Alright, that's creative. Alright, Eins, where are you, you fucker? Come on, you! Come on, Eins! Are you 57 varieties or what? 57 varieties are fucking coward! What? Come on, you fuck! Come on, you bastard! Come on, Ains, I ain't having none of this fucking horse shit! You think you'd give up that easily? Come on, you fuck! Come on, you Victorian looking wanker! Come on, you toss pot! Come on! You Peruvian Etruscan snood! You fuckwit! Come on, you turd burglar! Come on, you mutton chop! Come on, you fuck! Catch it, Eddie. <laughs> Woo! Okay, okay, you win, I give up, whimpered a dispirited Heinz. Lassie barked with joy as Heinz sat dazed on the floor. As Lassie and her pup made their way from the ruins, she heard Joe's voice in another welcome sound a police whistle. <laughs> Oh lass, you've rescued the last pup. I knew you'd do it, cried Joe. Thank you, lassie, said the constable. You've done this whole county a great service. Lassie and her pups were united once more. We're all big one-fifth family again, shouted Joe. Lassie licked her lips and gave out a con... I think so. Um, Blast Entertainment is, as far as I'm aware, a European country. Uh, company. I didn't look after them all. I suck. Well, I beat the game, so... Cool, I guess? Hi, gang. This is Blast. Blast is here to show you how to play Lassie. What? The left analog stick controls how Lassie moves. Wait, Moving what? forwards, backwards, left and right will let Lassie explore. Just like this. 
What have I the done? The right analog stick controls the camera. This could be useful in certain situations. Tapping the right analog stick will reset the camera. The square button makes Lassie jump. You'll need this to get past certain obstacles. When you press the X button, Lassie will crouch and creep. This will help her to avoid being seen. The triangle button will make Lassie sniff. If you are lost or can't see well, Lassie's sense of smell could really come in useful. The circle button makes Lassie bark. Barking is a good way for Lassie to let others know she is there. This has got a prototype Lassie version of Lassie can interact the, with people she meets along the way by pressing the L1 button. If you are looking for extra bones to collect, digging is a good way to find them. Could really come in useful. So let me guess, the game has just restarted itself. Whatevs. I'm done trying to understand. You want to see who made the game and shame them. It doesn't appear to be a credits menu. Let's have a look. So I'll read them out. Credits. This is who's responsible for this train wreck, because I don't feel the need to put a credit screen in the game. So, uh, here it is in the manual. Blast! Exclamation mark! www.blast-games.com CEO Sean Brennan Bishop Brennan Executive Producer Graham Boxall He knows all the boxes Assistant Producers Chris Gardiner and Aaron Ludlow Chris Gardiner is a gardener And Aaron Ludlow should lay low after this stream Testers Michael Darbo, Darren Gargett, David Smith, Smith likely a surname made to hide his true identity, Andy Wang Hun Sun Lu, Marketing, Joanne Wen, Mike Eglinton, PR, Kirsty Payne, Brings the Pain, Legals and Finance, Joanne Ackerman. Ach! 
Steve Allwork, he did all the work. Anna Cockin, I don't need to uh, make one up for that. Sander Komajin, Graham Oroj, Nav Sunner. Production Control, Craig McFadden, Will Murray, Louise Williamson, Gary Winter. Sales, Craig McFadden. Wait, no. That was production control. Sales. James Cato. Harley Homewood. Andy Hoskin. Paul Hislop. And Mark Watkins. Technical support. Joe Manners, who has bad manners. And Ben Thomas, who's been there and done that. Packaging design and documentation. Think. Which is what they should have done before they made this game. Special thanks, Fake Digstra, Frank Herman, Keys Hermans, Neil McKenna, Stuart Morton, Andy Payne, Arthur Sobskak, David Upchurch, Gary Williams, and Willem Sonnemans. Special thanks for telling us not to make this project, but we did anyway. EM Studios, lead artist. Right, here we are. Here is the team behind the game. Are you ready? Lead artist. Craig Gardinia Artist Lisa McIntyre Lead Programmer Lead Programmer Gerald Tom Greenfield You know what you've done Producer Bobby Farmer If you are too afraid to put your name in virtual in-game credits I will name and shame you on stream. Well, this has been an Escape Route British stream. Thank you for watching.